Wow. Wow, 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 wow. 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 We're actually live. This is happening, everyone. That's amazing. Wow. Wow. How did we do this? This is YouTube? Wait, this is YouTube? Oh, um, everyone, there will be no music during the stream because, uh, well, you know, uh, stronger music laws and all that. Um, copyrights, um, you know, just straight up fear when it comes to the copyright uh, system here. Uh, aside from that, though, hello, everyone. Welcome to my first YouTube live stream. Um, I should already give uh, in a little bit of advance. Um, this stream will be uh, recorded as well. So if something wrong uh, happens during the stream, I can edit it out afterwards and then just re-upload the entire VOD uh, with the edits. So that should all be good and dandy. If there are any issues at all, um, Good. I had to make sure and check and see if the audio was actually running. I've made that mistake before. Um, if anything wrong happens or whatsoever, I can just look back, fix it, and then we'll get right to it. And also, apparently the stream element spot only works when I um, uh, when when I start streaming rather than just outside of that, which is uh, good. Let me quickly do a check. I'm not sure if this is working or not. It shouldn't be. Yeah, it shouldn't be. Good. That's fine. That's fine. So in any case, uh, as this is my first stream, I'm not yet monetized on YouTube either. So if you do feel like you want to help out a little bit financially in case, uh, well, I mean, there will be future streams. But if things need to go a little bit smoother or you have some uh, recommendations or anything along those lines, you can find all the information down below in the description for this stream as well. Uh, which include the the the, the Patreon link. Uh, you can find my Twitter. You can find my Discord server. You can also find uh, the donation page, uh, where you can tip anything from whatever amount you would like to tip. If that is something that you're into, I don't know. Toss a coin to your streamer. That's a good one. Hello there, Ash. Welcome, welcome. I hope everyone's had a lovely day today. Um, the weather's been good here, so. Uh, if if that's something that you're into, um, yay. I'm personally, I don't really care what kind of weather it is. I'll do walks anyways, even if it's raining. Because raining walks are delicious. Just refreshing. Uh, also, I should point out, um, most of the people know me with different glasses, which I have here as well. Um... But uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of like these glasses as well. They show my face a lot more. Ugh. Um, but yeah, how's, it, how's everyone doing? Has everyone had a lovely day, lovely week, considering that the weekend's about... Sorry, I didn't mean to hit you all. My bad. Very sorry. We're already off to a good start. Uh, I hope you all had a lovely week, considering that the weekend is about to start for uh, at least the Europeans. Um, Americans, you still have a couple of hours left. I'm sure that you'll all survive until the next weekend. Um, if there is anything that I could help with along those ways, all I could say is, I, I'm, I, you could do it. I'm proud of you. I'm excited. I'm really excited, actually. <laughs> I don't know. Like there, there is, there is. Um, a bit of nostalgia that's just coming back to me. Um, I have to admit, before I started this stream here, um, I looked back at that video that I have on the channel here of the two years of streaming that I had done uh, over on the competitor for streaming, or I guess one of the competitors now. So I, 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 I had those moments come back to me going like, oh, those were nice, and I'm happy that I got to share those moments with people again. And now we're here for new moments on a new platform with new opportunities, and I'll have to admit, a new me, as in more confident. 
and definitely more experiences since because the last time that i streamed was september of last year which means that we're now eight months later and i don't know about any of you but a lot can happen in eight years or eight months and a lot has happened in those eight months things like i've stopped my study and i found work and I no longer have that work, and now I have upcoming work. And that's actually just in the span of the last month. <laughs> like, uh, it's been a wild ride, but I'm happy that um, I've got some things back on track. Um, I've got things to look forward to, uh, things that have happened since as well. Uh, things like me becoming an uncle for the first time uh, from my brother. Which uh, that little that little sweetheart is going to grow up just nicely, surrounded by loving people, um, and I look forward to doing my thing later down the line as well uh, when they're older because I I cannot handle kill children. Uh, no, I'm I'm done with children. Uh, as my time as a teacher's assistant. I'm a little bit done with children. I'll wait till they're later. Then I can have proper conversations with them. We can bring in all sorts of things like what is the meaning of life? And not have the answer being 42, but something a little bit more, um, you know, uh, mainstream. Uh. I'm looking forward to doing these streams again, though. Like, I, I, I still haven't set um, a mind as to how often these streams will be. Uh, I can't either, uh, like, I cannot pin down a date either, um, considering that I'm still uh, jumping in between works or, or in between jobs. Um, for example, I've got no week, no work next week. But then the week after, I've got work on the Wednesday, I've got work on the Friday, I've got work on the Saturday. Um, all three of those days, I need to wake up early, so I know that I can't do the streams before those days, nor can I do them on the day itself, because I'll be tired from work. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll find some kind of rhythm in it. Maybe once I actually have a proper job that I have for uh, stability, that could work. But until then, I'll just do my rinky-dink little, hey, I've got time, what day would you like to see me? Or I guess more appropriately, what day do you all have time? Because uh, I, like, I like doing streams for all of you. I'm not doing streams for myself. I've never done streams for myself. I like doing them for everyone else. And, and, and knowing uh, the support that I've gotten since I stopped streaming, and uh, since I mentioned that I was going to stream again, it's reinvigorated that, and it's reaffirmed for me that I I I, I kind of I'm I kind of have to do it again. So uh, yeah, I hope you're all doing fantastic. Hey hey, Roos, welcome welcome. Okay, uh, right, I should probably mention uh, for people that are watching this from YouTube later down the line. Everyone here that's here in this uh, in the in the text chat right now, they're all people that I know and love from the days before, the days since, and the days during. Like these are uh, all very much acquaintances of mine. Uh, we've experienced all sorts of things together, and now I look forward to the new faces that might be coming in. Um, maybe not immediately, but somewhere down the road to share those experiences with all of you as well. And as you might be noticing, I'm very social, I'm very fluctuating when it comes to what my topics are and all of that. I'm a person, right? I'm not putting on a persona. I am me when I'm streaming. I, don't know, I, I'm, I'm, I, I find that to be a lot more relaxing when it comes to a style of content creation than it is to me for me to be all zany and scripted um yeah just me so um let's get to the filler i suppose for this stream 
I shouldn't say that though, because this title has this very specific name, which is the Mark Muir Appreciation Stream. Because we here, we stan Mel Shep from the Mass Effect series. And for today's stream, we will be playing Mass Effect. And yes, I'll be playing as Mel Shep. Um, but that being said, I, I'm going to be playing the uh, Legendary Edition, which is, or I guess it should be the remastered version of the Mass Effect games. However, as some have already noticed playing those remastered games, it's that there are still plenty of things missing when it comes to making it a remaster. And as such, we have a lovely modding community which has done all sorts of things from immediately like reworking or at least um, taking the cutscenes that were in the original version of the game, uh, reformatting them and increasing their resolution to where it actually looks like it's a remastered cutscene. That's one of the mods that, I've, that I have here. Um, I have a lot of videos for that. We have the advanced weapon models, which not only make some weapons look differently, but they also function differently. Uh, we got Alliance Uniform Consistency to make the Alliance Uniforms look the same as they do in the later games. We got Black Market License for uh, weapon licenses that you would normally not get in the game, um, or at least not in the uh, normal manner that you would get other licenses. I think I should just speed this up, right? We'll just go casual hubs for casual clothing for all the casual characters. We got the Halcyon hair pack, which is more like a crutch for another one. We have the community patch, which is necessary for so many bug fixes. We have the diversif uh, diversification project, which is going to add in a lot more races that are introduced in the later games, as well as adding uh, some more layers to the races that are already in the game. Uh, we got streamlined weapon loadouts so that unnecessary weapons for characters are not there. We've got the ME3 Alliance Marine armor for uh, Legendary Edition number one, which means that the armor from the later games will look the same in this one now. Um, that vice versa, I mean. Uh, we got Normandy Rapid Transit, which you'll see, it's amazing. Uh, Saren will look a little bit differently, which is the main, main antagonist of the game. Uh, I got skip, skip mini games. Um, yeah. we're here for a chill environment. Let me put it this way. The minigames of Mass Effect 1 are far from chill. So, they're just gone. Yeah. We've got unlimited sprint and boost. It would, it's, it's more like uh, quotation marks of unlimited. It, it just recharges quicker and the, it lasts longer, which, yay. And there's also the XP rescale, because normally in Mass Effect 1, uh, in your first run through of the game, it's almost impossible, or I think pretty much impossible, to hit the maximum level. So you'd need to start a new game plus in order to hit the maximum level. With the XP rescale, I could hit the max level before the end of the game. If I were to try that. We'll see if I'm going to try that or not. So that's that. That's the entire introduction behind us. And we're 15 minutes in. I, uh, I'm off to a good start. I hope this, ha this has already been entertaining enough. <laughs> so, anyways, without further ado, I shall boot up the game and we can start on having... Those lovely, lovely conversations. We'll be catching up with all sorts of things as well. Like, um, um, where have I been for the past eight months? And the very uh, short answer is, I, I never really left. <laughs> like, I've always been approachable. I've always been ready for topics or conversations. I've always been up for a chat. Um, I just, uh, you know, like, I, I just didn't show my face on the internet uh, actively anymore. And it was great to just take a little bit of a, uh, take a little bit of a break. Uh, find my confidence once more. Also, I should uh, turn on the desktop audio again. 
If uh, let me let me know if the uh, the audio levels are fine. Like they should be fine. I'm not sure though. Uh, no, we're not loading in a new save. We're starting a new game. Oh, thank you so much, Bruce. So Luna, right now, um, I'll have to quickly do this. Uh, I'm gonna point the camera towards my bed, okay? Because Luna is that little pile right there under my blanket, uh, under the covers. Like, right there, that is Luna. Luna is just sleeping under my covers. It's almost like her favorite spot to, to go to sleep now. It's like nice and cozy. And in the same room as me, which apparently is a necessity for her to sleep. I... She 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 must have like a direct visual line with me. Um, a couple days ago, I uh, I had my bedroom door open, uh, quite wide actually. I don't know what happened. I'm guessing Luna might have pushed it up more. So I woke up and I just looked through the door, and instead of where she would normally lie, she was just lying on the like the armrest of the couch, like all flat. And I just see a pair of yellow eyes looking from all the way across from my apartment, looking back at me like, I will see you. <laughs> Adorable cats, eh? Right, so let's get this show on the road. We Welcome have Mass Effect to play. Oh. Also, by poison of choice for today... Agua. Establishing secure connection. From a Agua bottle. Well, I mean, it's it's uh, it's a non-sponsored brand. Pepsi, reach out to me. Uh, yeah, it's just water, and I have the water bottle here, so I don't have to walk back and forth. You know, maximum optimization. The only reason I'd have to get out of this chair is to go to uh, go a little, have a little uh, little breaky break. Right, so I like the name John, but I'm always going to go for James. And um, something funny that you'll see once I go to the save files, you'll see that there are just two empty James careers. Um, as a little bit of a background story to that, I finished setting up all the mods yesterday, um, which means that I had to test them out. And the very unfortunate thing that Mass Effect 1 has, I'm not sure if they fixed it for Mass Effect 2 or 3, you can't skip cutscenes. Which means that I had to sit through about 20 minutes of introductions uh, to test and see if the mods were working, because that's about the time when you finally get into like a combat scenario. So, um, I'm, I'm almost getting a little bit of, like, numb flashbacks, so I can't wait to have Eden Prime over. Let, let me just put that there. Because that was my test, right? If I can go through Eden Prime without crashing the game once, it's uh, successful, we can go throughout the rest of the game. Uh, which means that I had to recreate the character, I think, four times. Um, because I tried... Disabling one mod, then I disabled the second mod uh, separately from the first one, then I disabled them both at the same time, and then I had to re-enable them both and change uh, the key binding. Uh, because apparently when I was switching weapons with the scroll wheel, that was what broke the game. I don't know. <laughs> so I had to unbind the scroll wheel and that fixed everything. So I, I don't know. Uh, I, I'll just have to go through the uh, shift menu to change weapons from now on, which is fine, which is fine. Hello, VM. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? How is that? that I, I, I've already asked. I, I keep I. Could someone like put a string on my back, you know, which you could just pull and it'll just go. How are you doing? <sighs> How are you doing? <laughs> hmm. I mean, I could I could go and say things uh, differently, you know, like, hey, how's it hanging? 
It feels so unnatural. Hi, Mars. I did. You don't. You're not named Mars on YouTube. Wow. <laughs> That's great. I'm I'm happy to see you doing uh, fantastic. We haven't really had the time to chat every now and then, but it, I, I I get that you're probably busy with something, and I know that um, you now have uh, a a a very very big cat to take care of. Like that that cat is looking majestic. Like what the? You must have won a lottery, I think, because. Uh, it's it's insane. You have uh, so. It's 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 a very beautiful gray Maine Coon. That's all I can say. Like just imagine the most beautiful, like badass looking, gray haired Maine Coon cat. That's what Mars has. Seriously. Wait, what? I've huh? Okay, so out of all the classes that I normally play in, in Mass Effect 1, I always choose between Soldier and Infiltrator. Soldier because the, the abilities in the first Mass Effect game, um, they're not amazing. So I always tend to play Infiltrator because at least with Infiltrator I get to use the Sniper, which uh, I'm, I'm very much a Sniper liker. As well as uh, the capabilities of having decryption and electronics. Which makes it so I don't necessarily have to take someone in my squad that has either of those two abilities. I could just be on my own and still have those abilities. But last time when I created my character, I wasn't given this window. What's happened? <laughs> I haven't changed anything. I don't know why this is now suddenly showing up. But that's fine, I guess. Uh, out of all of these, though, what am I willing to take? Like, the shotguns in Mass Effect 1 are kind of meh. I might want to take assault rifles just for the heck of it. Uh, which, yeah. We'll just be pew pew. We're, we're, we're always pew pew here. Uh, I'm not going to change the appearance of Male Shep because this is the iconic look and we reinforce iconic looks here. And besides, uh, the thumbnail would need a lot of editing if I were to change it now. So we're, we're just going to, we're just going to, Profile reconstruction. he's fine the way he is. So yeah, we are going to be Earthborn, uh, which no, that has a certain, either the Earthborn no, it's just for each of the origins. There's one single side mission that plays into whatever origin you've chosen. Be it Earthborn, Colonist, or Spaceborn. Spacer? Spaceborn? Spa I don't know. I don't know. Um, Soul Survivor? I mean... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Class Infiltrator and Talents Assault Rifle. Yeah, because it's better than using pistols as my secondary weapon. It, yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Identification confirmed. Got the newest Switch model, the Tears of Kingdom Special Edition. I heard someone mention Tears of Kingdom earlier today. Is that the new uh, Legend of Zelda game? Or is that another Nintendo game that I don't know about? I'm a little bit out of the running. Ever since I've given away my... Uh, well, I say I've given away. I have a Nintendo Switch. Uh, I wasn't using it myself. So what I decided was I just put the Nintendo Switch at my mum's place because uh, I had the like I had the Ring Fit, which uh, physical exercise, uh, and as you might be able to tell, I don't do a lot of that at the moment, or I didn't do it at the moment either because I was busy with everything. So I decided that my mum might want to, uh, might make use of it, and as it turns out, my sister is now the one that makes the most use of it, playing Mario Kart whenever uh, her boyfriend doesn't bring over the Switch. Um, and then when my brother's girlfriend got, uh, like, was really, uh, late in her pregnancy, um, I was asked if the, uh, the Switch could be transitioned over to their place so that she could play Mario Kart and all the other Nintendo Switch games. Which, of course, like, so there's, supposedly my Switch is still there, getting used a lot more than it would be here. 
because, I mean, admittedly, I'm a PC gamer. So, whenever I'm not behind a PC playing games, I probably am doing something else. <laughs> rather than playing games. Cool. I did hear though that the Tears of Ki Tears of the Kingdom is a is a pretty great uh, game, so I'm I'm very happy for all the Legend of Zelda lovers out there that are very comfortably playing the Legend of Zelda games on their Nintendo Switches. While I'm sat here going like, yes, I'll have to wait for some way to play it on PC. I wouldn't know what that way would be, but maybe one day I will. Just patience. That's what it is. And luckily for me, I have. Well, oh shit! <laughs> patience. No record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets. Hmm. Learned to look out for himself. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotions. Yes. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? I always found that line so weird from Adina to, 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 to hear that when you pick the war hero background. It's just like the, is that the kind of person that we want to represent Earth or humanity? And I was just going like, it's a war hero, of course you do! <laughs> it's text. But basically, in some year, they found some technologies which allowed for inter... Like interstellar system travel, and they called it Mass Effect. Ta da! Sci fi! Good sci fi, though. Like, the, the, there are a few sci fi series that have as solid of a foundation as the Mass Effect series. I just remember playing all of these games on Xbox. In fact, I think if I am to finish all of the Mass Effect games here on PC, that might be my first time finishing them on PC. Because, uh, yeah, I think I jumped in between Mass Effect games when I had them, like, separately on Steam and Origin. Oh, I'm sorry, scratch that. It's now uh, EA App. Nah. <laughs> she did. <laughs> Look, I, I've already got some content in the works, which is going to, uh... It's going to match that kind of energy. So I, I posted, um, I put a Patreon post up. Uh, it's a public one so everyone can read it. Uh, but one of the content ideas that I have for the YouTube videos is um, to just read out lyrics for popular songs. Um, in, in, in my very, like either unenthused or low energy way of just reading them out. Just so we can stand still for a moment and just mull over in regards to what people are singing now nowadays, or at least like what is getting popular when it comes to music. I like the the best example I still have in my head for songs that once I read the lyrics, I just went, "Oh, God, this is horrible." It's uh, Ed Sheeran's uh, "Shape of You." Like, I, just reading those lyrics, I just got so depressed. <laughs> if it's the kids' Bob versions, I mean, we'll see. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be down for any kind of recommendations for songs that... If, if anyone here has any songs... Actually, let's do it right now. Does anyone here in chat right now have a song that has some horrible lyrics? But the, the the song is sort of like stuck in your head, or um, it doesn't actually like this. This is the nice thing about some of the lyrics, though. There are songs that have lyrics that are unbelievably great uh, when you listen to them. Um, one of my safe, favorite examples of this is the um, oh, it's by the Decemberists, um, but the title of the song. It slips my mind. I now need to look this up. Hang on. I'm looking this up, okay? 
Spotify, if you're looking back at this feed, okay, I'm just showing everyone my playlist. I'm not playing music. I'm just going to look at my playlist, okay? I, I know how much you hate people playing Spotify music on stream. I'm not doing that. The Decemberists. It's the the Mariner's Revenge song. If you look up those lyrics, um, it's basically a story in a song, uh, which again, like the song is eight minutes. So, I mean, <laughs> uh, like you, you'd expect something along those lines. But I, I, I love uh, songs that are capable of telling a story uh, through the lyrics itself. It, it, like You've got songs like that, that needs eight minutes or don't need eight minutes, but that take eight minutes to tell the entire story and, story and lyrics. But you also have other songs that are capable of telling a story with just three uh, to maybe four minutes. Um, I, I, the, 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 there's there's a very much a fascination when it comes to the lyrics, uh, which is tied to my fascination with writing at the moment as well, which I started up as well. Like I've I've been writing as one of my hobbies um uh for the past couple months um and i've i've been having such a blast just having a creative outlet with the potential that if i get to do it well enough or if i'm proud enough of my work that i have created it could grow to something even more than just it's a hobby because it's, it's definitely one of those things that I have started dreaming of uh, since I stopped doing a uh, study. Is that I'd like to later down the line become a writer. Or at least um, a, a writer to the point where it can uh, offer me a stable living. As in, I'm I'm writing short stories, long stories, uh, stories about something that other people might send me in, and through st things like Patreon or things like a donation link, um, I'll have enough of a support or a, a, a growing group of people that could help me, um, both motivate as well as uh, make it financially secure for me to be a writer. It's definitely something that has longevity to it because I have always liked writing and I don't think that there is anything when it comes to writing that could stop. So it'll just keep going. It'll just keep growing. Even this morning, um, I had woken up at 8.30 and I just started writing behind my pc until like 11 30 when my dad sent me a message hey i'm gonna bring you some burritos and i went like oh oh crap i still need to take a shower i still need to do all these i still need to eat breakfast like i was just completely in the in in writing uh for for the entire morning like that's just how much of an imprint it's got in my in my head at the moment um which brings its problems with itself because uh, I, I don't know, uh, uh, like, I'm sure that there are plenty of creative people here in chat as well. Do you also have that issue where whenever you put your head down on your pillow when you go to sleep, that is the moment when suddenly all those creative ideas start flowing into your head and you're just laying in bed, eyes closed and going like, I've got these ideas. I could wake up, I could open my eyes right now, disrupt my attempt at trying to sleep, to write down all of these creative ideas, knowing that I won't fall asleep for another two hours. Or I kind of hope that I can still remember it in the morning when I wake up. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so far I've been banking on waking up and still having remembered the creative flow that I had uh, before I've fallen asleep. And uh, so far I've been successful in that. Um, but it's horrible. It, it's, it's horrible when you're just laying in bed and you're just trying to fall asleep, but you can't because you're, you're having that dilemma in yourself of like, I kind of want to write, but I need to sleep, but I kind of want to write, but I need to sleep. So yeah, I um, it's 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 having its effect on 
just normal average things that I do in the days. So I, I guess in that aspect, yes, it's very much something that I want to do. And thus it's going to become a passion and I will enforce that passion for as much as I can. Also, thank you all so much for the ha for the for the messages uh, in 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 chat. I have to admit again, I'm I'm a person that always sets the bar really low, so I'll never get disappointed. But even for this stream, I had thought like, I mean, you know what? I'll just I'll just be happy if there are two people. <laughs> and meanwhile, there have already been five people in chat, as well as um, two adorable sweethearts. That have shown up uh, before a stream uh, that have hopped into the chat that I'm currently in for my Discord React, which is the board that I've got around my webcam here. Uh, that have just been uh, hopping into chat before the stream even started to just go like, hey, so um, I'll just hang out, okay? You just do what you want to do if you need anything, like... <laughs> oh man, that's, that's just great. Yeah, I, I, I hope that I can do these streams with a consistency, um, both as in like uh, letting you all know in advance that I'm going to do them, uh, as well as at the right times that all of you can uh, catch them. Because I know that if I were to go back to like the old streaming schedule, um, which, you know, that's, that's, that's like starting at what was it, 1 o'clock, maybe 10 o'clock in the morning? Um, I think at its earliest it was 11 o'clock in the morning here, which, again, like, yeah, in the United States, that's at its latest 5 o'clock in the morning and at its earliest 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't float. So I, I, I hope that I can maintain it, doing it at these time slots, so that everyone can be able to just catch it up and not have to, you know, ruin their day-to-day -day flow. Like, I'm sure that there will eventually be people that will just be working and having this in all, having this on the background. Like, it, it, this doesn't have to be an active thing. And again, like, the same thing. Like, these streams, yes, I'm doing them live right now, but they'll be re-uploaded on YouTube. So if ever you are in a position where you go like, oh, well, that's unfortunate. I can't catch him live, uh, but I kind of want to show my support to him still, even though uh, I can't at the moment. If, if ever that is the case, you can go and watch a video on demand. That's still supporting me as well. Like Looking back at uh, the recording of one of the streams, that helps me out tremendously as well. Because yes, I do have a tick on my YouTube where it'll show me, hang on, let me show this. I do have this thick on, uh, I do have this tick on YouTube. I'll just quickly grab my YouTube here. I have this uh, neat little extension here for Firefox. It'll keep track of every time I have a view on one of my videos and for how long they have seen something. Even if this is like a 0.19 minutes watched, Someone saw something of my content for just a moment, and that's already enough for me to just go, yes. <laughs> so yeah, I I I really don't I I do not care about how much support you've shown, even in like the slightest bits. That still helps me out tremendously. So again, thank you all so much for being here, and thank you so much for everyone that's going to stay here. Uh, if you need to do something, get walk away, get food or whatever, like that's everything is fine. I'm just very happy you all are here. I love you all. And uh, mm. we're just going to have some nice, lovely trips in these upcoming weeks, in these upcoming months and upcoming years. And who knows, maybe even upcoming decades, if all of this goes well. But yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, uh, enough sappy stuff first stream sorry mass effect yeah that is the official story but only an idiot believes the official story you're overreacting you always expect the worst and joker does happy, always expect the worst we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason so also if the game is too quiet or anything along those lines let me know i can change the audio or anything it's not an issue as long as you can still hear me over it uh, that's uh, good
It is? Alright, then I'll race uh, the audio. I'll raise it in a bit. You get that, Commander? Get that, Commander? You made him mad! I heard, is he upset? I heard. I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Ba 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 ba. Ha! Okay, uh, audio, sound. Alright, let's raise the dialogue most definitely. I don't know why that was with 35. What the hell? Uh, let's put that at 75. Sound effects, we'll put that up at 50. Music? 40. Right, that should be a little bit better whenever we're having dialogue. Everything else should still be background noise, which is just enough. We'll have a chat with Navigator Presley to test it all out. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Um, I heard you arguing, and now I'll talk over him just to see if the audio lines up well. If it's Sounds still like too quiet, to I can change yet. that through OBS. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down in engineering. I didn't mean to Adams? Trouble, How dare you talk to Adams? No one likes Adams. Feels it. I'll look into it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Is it still a little bit quiet? Because um, I I have the game audio or I have the desktop audio. Just a little bit more. All right. Then I will raise desktop audio by four decibels. Actually, let's do four and a half. Eh. There we go. See if this will be okay. Hello, Chakwas and Jenkins. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with. I want to go for some real action as well. Part of the job, Doc. Marines are meant to fight. Perfect. You just think Excellent. You're done. I know how. Three times the charm. That's how we like things. But it's foolish to go looking for trouble. You could both take a lesson from the captain. He's not afraid of combat, but he knows the value of restraint, too. Sorry, Doc, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, I've not fought. one with a spectre. I'm, I'm sorry for anyone, but I've always had my issues with Corporal Jenkins' uh, his, his character look. He, he just reminds me a little bit too much of the Bretons from Skyrim, because... Uh, their whole message of like the Bretons have no chin, and I find Jenkins's lack of chin disturbing. You'll do fine. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had, and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. It's just, I, I can't help it. He just looks funny. Careful. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Yeah, you have a, Don't worry, sir. You have a long Not career ahead of you. A really long yeah, career. Goodbye, Commander. Super long. Hey, Nihilus. We'll bang, okay? Ah, oh, what? What? The, I didn't even press anything. I was hoping. <laughs> a chance to talk talk what about i'm interested in this world we're going to eden prime i've heard it's quite beautiful um i wouldn't know i've never been there but you know of it it's become something of a symbol for your people hasn't it proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy but also protect them but how safe is it really is that a threat no, uh, why are you asking do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy also, be a yes, very dangerous place. I'm. Uh, Is the alliance truly ready I'm for Paragon, <laughs> and I'll do I a Paragon run in this as well. What's really going on. It comes this with issues, is yes, but I'll do my best. Uh, I knew it. I knew it. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. 
Why the secrecy? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down yeah, to make the some renegade choices, but yeah, the majority will be uh, Paragon. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I think anyone who knows me well enough knows exactly one series of renegade choices that continues throughout all three games. That I'll most definitely be making. But yeah, everything else, uh, I'll, I'll try to stay as Paragon as uh, I feel appropriate. Um, Protheon? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. What? The mass no. Relays, the Citadel, our ship I don't know what you're talking about, right, Antti. I would never... I don't, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Hmm. Obviously, but how do we do that? Obviously, this human interest, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Um. <laughs> well, you know what, Nihilus? Why did we tell the Council? Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Nah, Share Twitter tells us differently. Relations with the council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. Oh, just imagine you know more uh, this game takes place in an age the without not the only reason I'm Twitter. <laughs> Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here sure, it'll you. have its own replacement, but it's it's not Twitter, you know. Uh, I should have known. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. Mm -hmm. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, I... it shows how far okay, the Alliance well... has come. Not many I guess it's more like the question of destruction from the inside or destruction from the outside. <laughs> the question is Reapers or Twitter. Your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Oh, Nihilus, you put my name forward. Ooh, ooh. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see Twitter and heyday. Um, we see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy. And very Spectres. early Twitter. We are an elite group. Yeah, I think before. I think this is the problem with most social media platforms, though. As soon as they become mainstream, I'm pouring myself a glass of water. As soon as they become mainstream, that's uh, mostly the time when any kind of social media platform just dips down so hard. Like, I just remember um, one of the very first social media platforms that we had, uh, or at least one that um, I heard of. Um, it was specifically one for the the Dutch, which was uh, hives. Um, yeah, that that like that was fine because again, like that was like uh, I want to say like the early years of secondary school. So it was just a bunch of classmates, and you just all like at each other, and that was that. Like it still felt. It still felt very much like a bubble, but then, then you've got things where it's indeed like Facebook, where it just had random people that would just add you as friends because that would increase the number of friends that they'd have on YouTube or on uh, Facebook. And yeah, I think Twitter, for as long as I've been using it, has always been. Uh, a problematic place or a, yeah a problematic site to use um there are a lot of things that could have been done to it to make it more well better and it's unfortunate that a lot of people put their faith in elon to bring in any positive changes but i think anyone that can sincerely reflect on the entire twitter situation since uh, they can admit that nothing has improved. In fact, a lot of things have actually dipped in quality. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. 
I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Even oh, yeah. The first of several <sighs> together. You'll be in charge. There's of um. Secure the beacon and get it onto the I, ship. Like, let, let me just put it that simply. There is a, a documentary by Jay Aubrey about Elon Musk. If you haven't seen that one, uh, I can recommend it uh, to, to to watch that. Uh, but yeah, there 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 are so many things, so many problems uh, around a figure like Musk. Um, to the point where it's still funny that about ten years ago. He had said that that would be the moment when we would finally have people on Mars. And now here we are, 10 years later, and everyone's guessing that's going to take way more than another 10 years. Yep. Yep. Yep, it's pretty great. It's actually quite ironic that his most prominent brand is Tesla, considering what happened to Nikolai Tesla. Just give the word, Captain. <sighs> Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Like, the irony is just amazing. It's just funny to me. Get down! Just imagine I get Shepard Worthy just looking at this and just yawning like, uh, just another, uh, just another Friday, I suppose. I have to admit, it only took me um, after that. No com traffic at all. when I was doing my test this runs yesterday that I only then realized just how creepy it actually would be to see a ship like a Reaper, like a Reaper ship. Status report. Just because, like, that's not a standard ship, ship design. <laughs> you know? Like every other ship that we see throughout the entire series just looks like what you would expect of a spaceship. And then all of a sudden you just see something that looks like a like a giant hand coming down. That wouldn't that would be quite intimidating. Telemanko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. I I do have a lot of queries though in regards to like the geth came aboard this reaper Somebody was doing so is the reaper actually a ship or is it uh, an organism that has the capabilities of well, I, 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 not an organism a synthetic no, well, captain helping damn it is a secondary <laughs> don't know the specifics the your top priority. i'm not sure if the reapers are synthetics or Nihilus, organic machines i move faster on my own I think they're organic machines, but Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed not sure. Throughout the mission. Still though, like, how would that silence. be? Would it just be like use the, the arteries of a reaper as like the, the hallways, <laughs> it's like a ship? Like, how does that work? Um, he can count on us. Got his back, we we, we, we can take George, care of Nihilus. Shepard. Good luck. We'll make sure that he'll make it to we the end of the mission. Just as much as Jenkins will have a very long career. Oh dear. Let's go running, running, running. And. Snooper. I'm gonna use my snooper. So yeah, I had to unbind my scroll wheel because swapping weapons like that would crash my game. So now every time I need to switch weapons, I need to do this. No, I need to do that. And 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 and, and I need to do this. Heat sink. That's all right. Also, can I not set these to like one? Yeah. Um, overload and then sabotage. Yes. Overload on number one, because we'll be using that quite a lot. Can I put the heels on the number as well? No. Uh, heat sink on the sniper is a must. Still waiting for those moon colonies. Yeah, give me the domes. I want the moon domes. 
I want a moon dome so badly. I just want to be in like a big glass moon dome. Where every now and then I get to see the earth having the sun reflect on it. And then we're just on the dark side of the moon. It'll be so mysterious. Nothing is as mysterious as the dark side of the moon. Hey Jenkins, want me to make a man out of you? You've got a long career ahead of you. I'll do my best, okay? Wait a second. Jenkins! Jenkins, no! Jenkins, no! How am I gonna make a man out of you now? Now that you're dead. I'll make a corpse out of you. His name just had to be L. Jenkins. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. The Mass Effect 1 soundtrack was, uh... something else. <laughs> Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Ba do 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 ba do 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 I can't remember if they're uh yeah, there we go. Medical kick. With that extra meta gel, which is overflowing, which means I got nothing. At least Mass Effect 2 fix it by giving me money. Oh boy, it's a space racist in space. Oh, look at how they put him down so gently. Oh! p penetrated Hey, Caden. Um, if you don't mind, we're just gonna, you know, take cover. No, Caden, stay there. Do be do 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 <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome, Ashley, for the help. Gosh, almost broke a sweat there. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Mm. Yeah, um, we're on a mission from God. I need a status report, now. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Um, <laughs> fighting these Any things? idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly two hey, years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. Beacon? The site is close, just over that rise. I want me some here. bacon. All right, just stay here. Lenko and I will take care of this. Let me come with you, sir. The Geth slaughtered my unit. Give me a chance to get even. She knows the area, Commander, and we could use the extra firepower. Fine. Just don't forget who's in charge. Understood, Commander. You give the orders, and I'll follow them. Move out. The less I talk to Ashley, the better. It makes my skin crawl. God damn space racists. Hammerhead rounds and radioactive rounds. We like those. Um, yes. Um, da -da -da. Get the Lancer. <laughs> uh, 
Um, space force more like something that you put on a shotgun. Radioactive rounds. Pull a reduction. I, uh, okay. Squad! Everyone take off your helmets. I don't, I don't want to see any helmets. No helmets on my squad. Everyone breathe in that fresh Eden prime air. Uh, max level charm. Or, yeah, max level charm as soon as possible. Uh, I want Caden. I need you to have barrier and throw. Actually, you just stay alive, I suppose. There you go. <laughs> no, not you, Ashley. The other Ashley. The Ashley wearing pink and white. This Ashley. Do, 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 do. I'm a sniper. Do, 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 do. Sniper. Sniper. <laughs> sniper. Long range combat at its finest. Must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check. I, I would. I, 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 I genuinely would. Uh, let's go there. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. It's a, like, it's a sniper. Okay, it's like it's a long range weapon. How am I supposed to hit things when I'm close range, identity? Silly goose. Um, but it's the banshee. It deals more damage. It deals more damage. Uh, reaper. The hammer is the one that has the burst fire. I wasn't that big of a fan of the burst fire. Went during my test runs, so I. All right. Well, you know what? At least we'll show it. Um, okay, and you can have... Yeah, all right. <laughs> Looks like they hit the camp hard. Ah, the good Mulan. The amazing Mulan. Oh God, they're still alive. No, I should, I should, I shall refrain from having my movie, um, my movie opinions of the stream. We we want happy times here. <laughs> I know, and I I don't want my first stream to be known as the stream where I went on a film tirade for five hours. Not that there's any, uh, anything wrong with that, it's just not the content that I'm supposed to be putting out today. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll get to that point. Um, medium armor phoenix. Uh, I, oh, I can't wear medium armor? Boo. Caden? About Mulan, the 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 the, 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 the abomination that was the twenty twenty uh, Mulan. That 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 is the Mulan that I'm referring to when I say that uh, I have some 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 things to say. No worries. I love I love the animated film. Uh, the anim uh, animated film is great. Eddie Murphy does a fantastic Mushu. Um, what did 
I just get? Was it just armor? I've already lost what I just got. I think I got another badge here. Eh? Yeah. I need to look at what I'm looting. What? Mini games? Where? Thank the maker. Hurry. Close Where? Before they come back. Um. You're safe. Don't worry. We'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was it's 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 kind of funny, morning. you know. Like well, there are these moments in games where. I know that because Zardenti is just as much of a Mass Effect lover, if maybe not more than me. They gave their lives to but she, she, she knows exactly what is going to happen during this conversation. Only ruin and corpses will remain. Wait, what about this attack? What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the destroyers, bringers of yes, you are, Denti. You know exactly what is going to happen during this dialogue, both because of what the game offers and because of the kind of person I am. Quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Always in for a giggle. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always. What's wrong with your assistant? Unstable. Genius and madness are you, the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Say goodnight, Manuel. <laughs> you cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Ugh. Oh my god! What did you do? That might Put have been him to sleep. Extreme, Commander. You can't Clearly. just go around whacking people in the head. He's better off. It was only a matter of time until he did something crazy and dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. Bye. James, take us to the <laughs> Good luck, Commander. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Paragon run. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Um, so, th this game was 2007. So, it, it tries to mimic exactly what the 2007 Sad. experience was like. Uh, I've just added in mods, and Minus. EA did a little bit of work in trying to make the textures look a little bit this isn't nicer. Your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? But, yeah, when it comes to the, the engine, it's still pretty much the same. Up. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The so, uh, bad. yeah, things will look a little bit stilted, but it 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 has its charm, and that's and that's why I, I me and a lot of people really love it. What is that? Off in the distance. Oh right, yeah, I guess Caden did not get to see that, eh? Blasting. Oh, ah! How dare you? Okay, I think I've shown enough of the hammer, eh? Let's uh, put on uh, let's put back the, the 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 Reaper. There somewhere. All I need is one little glimpse. There we go. Area's clear. Easy decryption. Everybody stay calm out there. <clears throat> we're coming out, we're not armed. 
<laughs> Eliara has been converted to play Mass Effect again. Stop right there, criminal scum! It's safe. You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it, so we made a break for the sheds. Um, what was the? Uh, give me the attack details, eh? Tell me everything you remember about the attack. I keep saying a. I feel, three of us were working the crops when that. I want to say I feel like I've been talking to too many Canadians as of late, well, but I, I know that I've been talking to one garage, specific Canadian right too many times as of late. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Bye. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jesus, the stuff? Like, gotta learn when to shut up. What have you got? The guns are powder. What's going on? You should come clean. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. Prefer the cult of Jennifer the Hale. Let them store packages in our ship. Look, all I'm gonna say is that Jennifer Hale has got plenty of other content to take the spotlight in. This one game is the one where the spotlight can be and should be on Mark Mir. For not only did he do Male Shap, he did so many of the other races in this game, uh, in the game series as well. He did the Hanner, he did the Elcor, he did the Vanna, the, the what, Vanner? No, uh, 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 Volar, that's it. Uh, p -p 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 smuggling's a crime. We're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting We're breaking anybody. Breaking the law. Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. Welcome back, cousin Ruth. Like something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we. Would. I, <laughs> I love it when people start talking about me having We're strong opinions, and I just go like, "You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out?" I yeah, have very few strong thing. opinions. I just know that a lot of people apparently open, tend to hit those quite that thing. often. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Actually, no. You know what? Maybe I should just start writing down a list of all the things that I have a very strong opinion of. He might have something to do with this. Like, I've just started to think like we what are name. topics that I would start a discussion thing. over. Yeah, and I'm just yeah, immediately yeah. like, um, gendered now in certain Dots films. <laughs> it's like, it's just, it's just, it's just some things. I Good luck. I have to go. Take all. And now I will take more. Pistol, pistol, assault rifle. Yeah. It's stuff. And we like stuff. Um, new pistol, uh, new assault rifle, uh, no new sniper. How dare you not give me a new sniper. Alright, increase my charm, level those two up, always level those two up, and fully level barrow. Soldier, combat armor. Damage reduction, this is weapon damage. Right. <clears throat> Look, I I I cannot um I have no defense, okay? So if we could not talk about this <laughs> Nah. Come on. E. Mine. That's my dead Turian. A Turian? You know him? Yeah. I was crashing on him. He was with us in the Something's moving over behind those crates. I do not remember the Wait, sound don't, effect don't at shoot. all. I'm one of you. I'm human. Um, you need to be more careful, friend. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. 
My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. The other one? It's always interspecies murdering with you humans, eh? I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to Saren. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Saren? Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Then what? Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. Okay, okay. I knew okay. that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to I also knew that bacon was trouble. That damn I could feel my tumbly rumbly. The attack? They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Hey, so uh Cole mentioned you. Cole's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. What? No. What? <laughs> I mean, no. what does it matter no. now? Not me at all. It's just, just another Powell. There are so many Powells here on Eden Prime. Smuggle any weapons? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing for the military. Oh, I forgot to put in one link in the description. Though I'll put it in for the next one. Um, yeah, I have a fiver. So if anyone needs any voice lines or anything, you can send me um, a, 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 a request over there, and I'll do some voice acting for you. Cause uh, I like my voice acting. It's another creative outlet that I hope might become a little bit more fruitful later let it go williams hand them over just give me the grenades they're yours take them my smuggling days are over i swear you should make amends a lot of marines died here powell those grenades could have come in handy if i were you i'd think of some way to make it up to them yeah uh, okay there is something else I was saying. It's actually funny because I recently saw um, a video of Jennifer Hale and Mark Mir um, looking um, looking back at some of their more iconic lines that they've said as Shepard during the series. I can't stay here. And um, Mark Mir remarked during that that he still remembers. Uh, having done some of the voices for the other races before they even um, offered him the role as playing as Mil Shep. Which makes, in hindsight, so many things a lot more interesting knowing that he first did the lines for all the aliens and then discovered you're going to be doing the other voice that is going to talk to those aliens. Which makes all the uh, interactions between uh, Shepard and the Hanar so much more fun. Or should I say, the jellyfish. Oh yeah, Ash, if you're looking to just like get a start or do something... Uh, Fiverr is really easy to set up and uh, work with. And as I've learned, if you want if you want to do something, you gotta start somewhere. Come on, show me, show me, show me, show me, show me, show me. Is that him? Is that that little bit right there? Is that Geth's skull or not? Suppressing fire! Hi.
Wanna blast the t-shirt mode for Shep? Sure it's somewhere. Well, actually I'm not sure if it's somewhere. Someone should make that though. Like that that sounds pretty fun. Um Let's put some points in pistols so I can get access to sniper rifles. Um uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, barrier and throw soldier and combat armor. So yeah, again, we might be leveling a bit quicker than you normally would in the game because of the XP rescale. Um, Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. I don't mind. No evidence that we were here. Even if I weren't to turn up the difficulty, like I'd still just breeze through it. So I'm just having a fun time. <laughs> I do know that the once we get to Mako parts as well as oh what was that annoying planet? Uh, there's one planet in this game that I'm probably gonna have some trouble with. I think it's when you're fighting a, a large group of ad uh, yeah a large group of uh, biotics that that is going to be uh, uh, problematic. The Geth must have planned. <laughs> I still remember one of the first few times that I played this game, I uh, missed this bomb. So I was just walking about trying to look for this bomb that I overlooked when I when I got off the train. I think, uh, yeah, the bombs went off as well on that run. And then it reset me once you get uh, went, uh, again back on the train and then I saw that bomb and I just had the fake bomb moment. Disarm! Digga 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 Wait. Disarm! Why did you know disarm? There we go. No one is safe from Shep. Definitely no one's safe from me with a sniper rifle. Uh, that is a guarantee. Ah, uh, but all these medium armors are annoying. I think I was just playing as soldier every time that I tried playing the game. Hmm. Odd. Because in in that uh, in those runs, I was capable of wearing the medium armor. Ashley, you don't deserve any good armor. So take that. Can I wear medium armor as an infiltrator? I don't think you can, right? Just light armor. Yeah. No, the other. Sorry. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'll I'll name her differently, okay? I'll just say space racist. That's that that'll be their name from now on. That way, I won't trigger the Pavlovian response of you thinking I'm talking about you. I would never say horrible things about you, Ash. Wait, Eliara, is that your sign for hydrating everyone? Because uh, 
I'm all for that. Everyone, make sure to stay hydrated. Make sure that you have a glass of water or something else to drink near you. And if it's empty, top that off. Get something new to drink. Because your body needs water to function properly. Or at least that's what my mom told me. Correct. We will take all of that, and we will take all of these, mm -hmm. and then we're going to go and take all of that in that safe. Was there something over there? No. Ba da ba da ba boo! Delicious, delightful, did moderations, Mod modifications, Mod those words. Organics? No, 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 no. We're not going to use organics. So ammo um i will put chemical rounds on my assault rifle that is a guarantee and a high caliber barrel oh i like the low fire rate in that Ba -da -ba 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 -da. Hello, Prothean Bacon. I'm gonna eat you. I'm gonna be crunchy as hell. Nom, 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 nom. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Immediate... Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Hey, Caden. How's it going? Wait. Sorry. Let me rephrase that. How's it hanging? Oh, no! Ashley! I mean, space... <laughs> Sorry. I cannot maintain it. I'm not- I'm not a bad enough person to just Shepard. keep calling someone no, space racist, even if they are one. I'm a horrible good person. Now we got to see the one cutscene that I really wanted to see when I was modding this game, just because I, I love this one so much. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the, and the beacon used it. I loved this scene. Just the, the flashing and him going feral. Also look at those robes! The new robes! The modern robes! This human must be eliminated. <laughs> yeah. Look, please, please don't, uh, like, I, I hope no one actually started just calling you the Doctor, full name of Dr. Ash Ketchum. I think he's waking up. Because that, that is just mean. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? I'm feeling like I've been on a drinking binge with a, bat with a Batarian. Would have sounded so much better if I didn't stutter there. What happened? I'm okay. Not great. I'm okay. I'm okay. Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. <sighs> I'm gonna be mean to you. I'm gonna be super mean to you. 
I expect better of my people, Williams. You endangered our entire mission. Feel bad. Don't be so hard on her, Commander. No, I will be as you hard on her as I want. Actually set it off. In the normal way, the not the out. other way. The beacon exploded. A system overload. Always maybe. taking it so the anatomically. Chalk was. Well, and I carried you back here to the ship. Punk's Eve was ruined that line for me. Wait, which one? Um. Thanks. I appreciate it. Wait, no, that was something nice. Okay, you're fine, but I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. Damn. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Uh -oh. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I was dreaming. I dreamt that they had made a live-action remake of a mo of the animated Mulan film, and it was horrible. <laughs> I saw. I'm not sure what I saw. It was like death yeah. and destruction, and nothing's really clear about it. Hmm. I better <laughs> add this to my report. It may. Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. We just started spouting nonsense about Seven Mulan, times, though. Maybe. Why Mulan? Aye, aye, Captain. It's a 21st the century. Wait, right, actually. That the original Mulan animated was at the end of the 20th century, right? Are you sure you're okay? I wanna say 1997, but I'm not sure. I'd appreciate it if someone could look that up for me. I'm curious now. I feel bad about Jenkins. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. 1998. Off by one year. Damn. Why is Williams here? Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like that. No! Reassigned to the Norman. Was a mistake. I don't want her on my ship. I'm the captain of this ship, Commander, and I want Williams on our crew. You just wait until you're no longer in charge of the ship, and then I can push her on. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. I don't like Williams. The destroyed and Gether invaded. Sure, she'll like that the little love film. We've got nothing to do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. He wanted the bacon. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. You were he there just did want that beacon. That bacon. Did you see anything? I was, <laughs> I was, I was there before the bacon self-destructed. I had a vision of just how tasty it was going to be. I lost consciousness. Just that salty texture. Mmm, love me some Her bacon. What? Where's the garbage chute? Um, uh, I don't know. I'm sure Williams could tell me. Clearly, she crawled out of it. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the council, Shepard. What will we say? I had a bad dream or something? What are we going to tell him? I had a bad dream? Wow. We it's almost like I just heard this dialogue yesterday. Anything. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. I know what kind of information was stored in that Saren. bacon. I know it was delicious was food. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command. He has the secrets he to the bacon? Wiped humanity 
from the face of the gun. He knows how to make it that perfect crunch. That delicious salty t taste. I'll stop him. I'll find some way to take him down. And then I'll make him give over his recipe to this delicious bacon. Go anywhere. Do almost anything. That's why Gosh, I want me some bacon. <laughs> Understood, sir. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. Look, if anyone if anyone here in chat happens to know some really good plant based bacon, I would love to try that out because I've I've been converted into mostly eating plant based foods, and uh, I I can say. Uh, Honestly, truthfully, I love the the, the taste change uh, that comes with eating plant-based food. Like, I just entered this pattern of eating the same thing, or the, having the same tastes, the same flavors in my mouth over and over and over. And now going over to plant-based foods, it's like, oh, new tastes, new flavors to test. And the extended expiration dates on them. Oh, it's just the best. I don't have to worry about almost needing to throw it out the next day. Like, it's just good for so long. Am I misremembering that you could just look at something that you could interact with and then you interact with it from a distance and Shepard would walk to it automatically? I might be having a completely different third-person game in my head for that. Only the CO. Wait, um, I'm lost. Who do I talk to again? Is it the comm link? No. Crap. Hey, like I've never played Mass Effect. Okay, clearly I don't know what I'm doing. Wait. You are supposed to have a visor, not a helmet. I must have installed my mod incorrectly. Oh well. Wait. Uh, no, I won't talk to Ashley. I won't talk to Kate. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. It is looking good. It's just that when I chose the option, I wanted them to Don't look with visors. But I guess they're just helmets now, but uh, okay, it's fine. Also, how are you doing, Tim? And clearly it's called Liam here, and I, 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 I know you by Tim. Because there are some who call you Tim. Look, there, there was just that moment when I was looking towards the wall and he just was looking at me and then I started looking at him and he just averted his gaze like, I'm not... <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Joker! How are you doing, Seth Green? Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. Why do you sound like Chris from Family Guy? Why do you sound like the son from Doctor Evil? Why does it sound like you would be an amazing son that would gift me something like sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their frickin' heads? I mean, it doesn't make it look fantastic, but it does. It sure looks a lot better than the original. Look at that monster! Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing is on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. And look at these reworked cutscenes. Now that is truly modern perfection. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. This is so fucking... 
I, I, I shouldn't swear excessively, but it's just so bloody hilarious to know that um, you indeed just have modern communities that have already shown to have done so many things better than like the massive gaming studios. So many things that are done better than what EA puts out, than what Bioware, um, Bethesda, um, CD Projekt Red. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Udina. Sounds like you convinced the council to give us an Would you be down for pulling down your trousers so I can stick my hand up your ass so I can pull out that stick that's so far up there and maybe make you into a decent human being? I... I... I, I feel like there's someone out in, 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 in chat that has no idea how far out of left field that came for them. for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our actions. That's the funny thing, Tim. I'm playing uh, Paragon. keep you out of the Spectres. With the leniency of sometimes going renegade for the for the giggles. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. Make sure you have clearance to get in. I'm sorry, my content requires full concentration. So many things will go over your head if you just miss out on the first five words of every sentence that I say. I will yoink. Cool mission. Uh, no, that's the way that the game wants me to go. I want to go this way so I can meet with my favorite races. I love the Elcor so much. Please greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine I just query. love Elcor so much. Is there much. something I can do for you this day? It's the inner autist that me just, just loves it so much like the please greeting. Genuine query. Upset remark. <laughs> uh, your speech. And again, like, this is uh, Mark Mir. Let's do the voice here. Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings uh, of no, our I'm an infiltrator. Because that way I uh Why do you bother, Kayla? I, I have sniper Earth while also really electronics and a um, remorseful response in the dingy things. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, um, I am very sorry for you. Wait, that's just normal subscriptions to YouTube, right? Yeah. No. Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe. I come I come from Twitch, okay? Subscribe means a whole different thing here. <laughs> Thank you so much for the sub, though, uh, Liam. Uh, Tim. Sorry. Confusing as hick. Uh, Elcor. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. Yes, that's it. This was just a others. subscriber message though, right? Yeah, because I cannot have members yet. I don't have monetization. Yeah. Uh, tell me more about... Wait, what? Your history. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council's space when the Asari first made contact with us. 
With their help, Why are you sorry when I the press relay contact with closest the to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly, within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. Culture? I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and again, like this is an ambassador for the Elcor. To the confines of space travel, our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. <laughs> Um, Goodbye, I don't. I don't think anyone farewell. N n who who Good knows me and, and enjoy your time on the like, for, for for everyone. If that hadn't already been cleared, I'm autistic. Uh, I love the Elcor so much because their entire race just comes across as ridiculously Hello, autistic, human. and it's Sincere just the best apology, time. But I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. Also, this would be so amazing, though, to live in um, a, a world or a universe. Wait, what? Beginning of the stream. <laughs> yep. What can I say? I'm a bleeding hypocrite. No, uh, um, it would be so amazing to live in a universe, or I guess even in a timeline, because the potential is still there. That we would indeed just have amb embassies of, like, alien species that come from an entirely different planet, that have entirely different structures, uh, ways of lives, organisms, all of that. And just to have conversations with them in regards to, like, how is your culture? Like, what do you do for fun? What do you drink? What do you... Just to get to discover how an entirely different living creature... Uh, goes through their steps of life the way that we do in our, you know, our daily drudges. Like, we already get to experience small things through our own human cultures, where you've got things like the Japanese culture, where it's normal to take your shoes off when you're indoors, which, again, like, I actually find that to be something that you should normally completely do straight away. There, there, there are so many cult cultural integrations that we have, which would be to such a small degree that an entire alien species would have uh, for rules, traditions, uh, experiences. They might even have an entirely different view um, when it comes to the passing of life. Because I, I don't know about all of you, I'm so tired of hearing the same things over and over from philosophers which are just like minuscule changes uh from one theory to another um it's one entirely new views on certain things it's just interesting spiritual dark and i the raggedy yeah yeah we aren't exactly the best kind of species to stress is there something I, I can do to help? With. Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? Uh, this is all going so wrong. And I think I think that's Sarah something that most of the, she's the one who started all uh, creative thinkers have already had discussions of. Like, we would not be ready for having a chat with an alien race. We can barely handle each other, let alone think or even comprehend there being an entirely different race. That might also have its several subcultures. Like we're barely capable of integrating our own cultures, so why would we be capable of integrating an entirely different being alongside our own? It's just impossible. Just highly unlikely. It 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 does bring in those very interesting discussions of what do you think would happen if an alien species does decide to show itself to us? Would we go into the... Like the whole trying to learn and gather information from them? Or would we indeed just go, 
It's an otherworldly threat. Judging from history, humans have such a high perception of themselves that they would indeed try to find a way to subjugate them or to integrate them into some way that would make life easier for those that have the capabilities of creating that. I'm just, uh, uh, wait, hang on, all right. We'll take 10 steps back, all right. We're playing a dumb, stupid space game. Why are we talking about all of these things? Yes, I must speak more with the ambassador myself. Stupid space Good game time. with stupid space thoughts. Uh, we, we don't have time for cultural discussions. I, I didn't mean to step out of that. I cannot speak more. No, no, Elia, no, that's, that's what we are, we are. Suffice Dumb little say, human beings. Compromised my a tiny speck in an infinite universe. Where can I find this Asari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough. I enjoy it as well. Good day, human. I I very much enjoy it. I love Sir speculations. I love place, I think. Anticipations. Your is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. I think a couple days ago I had um, uh, I a certain thought in regards to. Ambassador. Is there something uh, I can do for you, Earth Clan? When it comes to lies. Uh, or at least lying to another person or telling the truth to another person. Um, in, in regards to like telling the truth to another person, you open yourself up to the um, the, the, the anticipated results. Like everything like, telling the truth is a very predictable thing to do and it sets up very predictable situations. If you're going to tell a lie to someone, it opens up the possibility of having a gamble into a completely um, unexpected result that might happen from said dialogue. What am I rambling about? Is it getting late? <laughs> yeah, we saw District 9, uh, uh, or, well, yeah, District 9, uh, I, I streamed District 9 uh, a couple days ago. In uh, uh, in, a, in a bit of a group, and uh, yeah, it. To be honest, the entire point of District Nine is incredibly on the nose. But uh, yeah, you you unfortunately just have people who are looking at film and going, "Ooh, film! Everything that happens in film must be contained in film universe." There is no way that everything that happens in this film could reflect on our current society. No way. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Goalless territory you know what? expanded. Next year for Halloween, I'm going to dress to myself up as an Elcor. <laughs> we still have no real say in the I'll just need to find someone who's capable of creating a very large rubber structure for me to enter. Uh yeah, that's fine. We, we we've got enough of the Volus. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. The Volus really just remind me so much of um uh, the what was the robot's name again in uh, Hitchhiker's uh, Guide to Gal uh, Guide to the Galaxy? Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. I keep forgetting it, even though it's such a simple name. Was it Rob? Mark? No. You have no available Citadel Rapid Transit. The what? Lies. Marvin, there you go. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Shashafina. I don't need no guide. I'm a strong independent chef who don't need no guide.
But look, it's all so pretty. And look at that Krogan statue. Even though we don't see any Krogan anywhere on the Citadel. Or at least not in the base game. I will keep my eye open to see if I actually see a Krogan here other than Rex. Okay, so we need to go to the Citadel Tower. That's where the council is at. Look at that bug. Greetings and No, I didn't need to talk to you. No. No. I apologize if you found Please do not disturb the keepers. Ah, uh, damn it. I wanted to disturb the keepers. Oh, yeah. Sorry, everyone. That elevator ride is so quiet. I just had to hum. Hey, look. More Tarians. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Executor Palin? Oh, no. Palin. Okay. Almost thought that was no. Commander Shepard, Alaska and all that. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Sarah. Your space has Bondo. I didn't know you were into Palin. <laughs> Sounds like you really want to bring him back. Yeah. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he no touches worries, Garrus. He can rub me the wrong way. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. I mean, what? Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Humans in the tower. Interesting. Wow. A female Torian? That's not normal here. There you have your diversification project. Yes. Yeah, um, I think uh, Mass Effect Andromeda was going to be... Uh, yeah, was... Yeah. Mass Effect Andromeda... No, wait. It was a DLC, right? For Mass Effect 3, which showed the very first female Torian. I never got to play that DLC. No, I just want to ask a couple of questions. Do you know? Commander. Rear Admiral. <laughs> Rear. <laughs> I can't remember. Come on. Yeah, come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern. Yeah, I never got to play that DLC. I never got to play any of the DLC for the Mass Effect games because I played them on Xbox and I didn't have internet connection on my Xbox to download or buy the DLC. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. Hi. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. Look, me and Nihilus had an oo relation, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I'm gonna fucking kill you. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if what? you were there. No, I would totally Nihilus never laugh at something like to me. Rear. Back at the Eden Prime report, I was unimpressed. But what can you expect? See, I have a very sophisticated expression on me. Which remains on my face every time I say the word rear. See? Um... 
Insults typical. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Whoa, uh, Shep, you're leaning Your in. The camera is not keeping track of me. Shepherd. You're not ready to join the council. You're not even Good job. ready to join the Spectres. Cap no the right cameraman is happy with you. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. I'll find proof. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You won't see the truth! You've made your decision. The start I won't waste my breath. Being like a... Like a holy man. Found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. No, this we failed. That's the failure music. Bad. That's like the best thing in this game. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Captain Anderson is just like, deflection! Every, we have is <laughs> Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Uh, how do you know Saren? Tell me about this history between you and Saren. Yes! I, mission a long time ago. Things went bad. I think this was the, the breakthrough role for most people to awesome. get to know Keith David's I voice. Know like. Of course, I has to be stopped. already heard his voice when I played uh, Saints Row 2. No, Saints Row 1. Where, uh, of course, he played a uh, big role in that as well. Um, which made it even funnier when for Saints Row 4? Yeah. Yeah, in Saints Row 4, when you have uh, Keith David as uh, advisor and then also as a party member later in the game. Which made me clap even harder when I saw um, The Nice Guys uh, film with uh, Russell Crowe and Ryan Gosling, where Keith David also plays one of the henchmen to the villain in the film. And of course, as a good friend to our protagonist in They Live. Um, when, when they had that ridiculous fight scene just to see, just to try and get sunglasses on him. The stakes could not have been higher. The council won't help us. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with We need to find some way That's to expose right. him. Asking for more time to Get him out of him. those robes. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Uh, I'll talk to him. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month. What? Udina has terrible people? As connections? I don't want the council using your past what? history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything no we turn up. Shepard will handle this. The captain deserves better. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some... Things. I'm doing captain, all these dialogue options for Paragon time. points, though. Harkin's probably getting drunk at court. I need to make up for it's punishing someone. Of the wards. Um, yeah, mostly just punching someone. You want me to go see him? I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call Didn't him, call him a drunken loser, but he was drunk, yeah. 
Bye bye. Should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be in go. the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Apparently, it's a bit of an in joke that I should go line uh, for both Jennifer Hill and Mark Muir to the point where um, they started using it whenever they needed to go to the bathroom. They just uh, look at their uh, VA director and just go, I should go. <laughs> and that was apparently enough of a sign for them to just go, yeah, it was all right, we'll just see you later. <laughs> night night, Ardenti. Good luck at work tomorrow, and I shall see you again soon enough. I thought for a second there the music was going to be like... I can't believe the council ignored all the evidence against Baron. What is that song? So my natural would take his word over ours. It sounds like the intro to an anime. <laughs> I don't know which anime though, and I don't know what the song is, but it just sounds like the intro to an anime. That's just like the first image that pops up in my mind when I hear that song. Oh wait, that's it. It sounded like a sped up version. It's not an anime at all. It sounded like a sped up version of We Are The World by uh, Earth. You know, the, the bunch of famous people and just did a song to get money which they didn't want to spend themselves so they just made that song to earn money do 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 we are the world <laughs> do 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 we are the children Oh, you're just gonna make me walk down the wards? So, okay, that's fine. It's cool. I know that um, Michael Jackson wrote the song, but I know that um, other people sang it, right? Support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Dum ba dum ba dum 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 da dum. Do you really think we'll find them down here? He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. Keeper. Oh, I didn't talk to the guy that gave me the key to place. Made a mistake. An problem after I would like to get rid of Ashley as soon as possible. I first need to go and find Garrus and Rex. As the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives. Look at Aiden Booty. To reach a diplomatic solution. Look at that Aiden booty. That Aiden booty be fine. Ah, oh, I feel so lost here now. It's been so long. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Hi, Emily Wong. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? I don't know why, but you... I, I remember you looking much better than you do here. Hmm. Um, of course. What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. I consider it Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. I know. Oh. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. I know when it'll happen. And I know that is gonna make me laugh. Look, it's Halo!
He is right. This isn't a station. It's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on. And it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big. But this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? We have to work to measure up. Melting pot is inadequate. Big club. Why keep humans out? The council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. I don't know. Would you would would anyone here want to live aboard a space station rather than on a solid planet that has its own atmosphere and gravity? You know. Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. If you expect to get me in a tinfoil miniskirt and thigh high boots, I want dinner first. What? Sir. What? That will be enough, Chief. I would be a professional. That would be inappropriate fraternization, Chief. Get back in line. Sorry, sir. <laughs> Ready to move out, sir. Get back in line. All right. Hey, I just know that I'm gonna have to be here later, so I would just like to introduce myself to you first. Hello there, Commander. I'm Dr. Claude Michel. Is there something I can do for you? I need supplies. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Gotta go outside. Alrighty. Just step out if you need to. Get some rest for yourself, if that is what you desire at the moment. I've still got uh, more than an hour left on how much I'm gonna stream, so... No need to hurry. Let's get rid of all these tier 1 weapons, eh? There we go. It cleans up so nicely. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've been talking to a lot of people as of late that really feel like uh, they get a bit claustrophobic when it comes to being in their own apartments and stuff, so... I mean... I, I say a lot of people. I'm I'm one of those people as well. Like I've I've gone to two walks today, just because when I stopped doing my course, my study, I have felt like I've just been inside way too much. Seasack Academy. Wait, do I need to go to the Seasack Academy? Binary Helix has settled out of court. I can't do I. That had accused the genetics I'm, corporation of fraud. I'm just the walking about at this point. Like, I can't remember if I need to go to the wards first to go to the club, but to go to Harkin, or if I need to go to the CSEC Academy to find a Rex and Garrus. Okay, I was wrong. I need to go to that, the club first. Got it. Wards locations, mid clinic. <laughs> to be fair, I I have um. Wait, I I just went down. I have uh one of those very weird um. Uh, memories where when it comes to certain people uh i remember things that i'm pretty sure those people would like me to forget <laughs> which uh makes me um a really really annoying prick sometimes because <laughs> i'll just start making remarks about something that i wish that i had forgotten and i just keep rubbing it into their faces oh my 
my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed it doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. Oh, yeah. But it doesn't matter where you hail from. My goods are available to Yeah, to be fair, the entire uh yeah, you know, now talk about it and not have to worry about it. The entire COVID period uh, was extremely odd for me to the point where uh, I had just started living by myself at around the time when it got to peak COVID. Like if you keep, if you keep in mind, if you look at the timeline, right? Um, March 2020 was the period when all the lockdowns finally started happening. Um, and at that, in that same month, I think literally the week after the lockdown had started, uh, we were going to have a chat with someone that was going to provide me my own apartment to start living by myself. Um, and then at the end of August, um, uh, I went towards this apartment and I started living by myself. So the entire COVID period was happening at the same time as me learning how to live by myself. So I was just having that double layer of not only was I going to be living by my, not only was I going to be by myself for a long period of time, I also started to learn how to live by myself um, during that period. So it was just layer upon layer. And I have to say, I think I got out of it fairly well. I am sure you will find Mostly because because of that distance, it allowed me to have most of my interactions through the internet. Which meant that uh, I got to properly learn how to do uh, conversations. Uh, or I, I learned how to go, how to become social uh, purely through speech before I had to learn um, uh, body language and all of that as well. So... It's because of that that I got very confident uh, in how I was socially um, during the COVID period, purely because I was just pinpoint. I, I had a funnel of the social interactions, <laughs> which helped out so much. So I, I think for me, it might have been the best of uh, the best world that I could have had for such a developmental period. Hi, Conrad. I know what you are up to. Let's have a chat, buddy. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Uh, pleasure's all Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I just tried to help. I spend most of the time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're I'm just trying to think busy, of... But, um, do you I'd still... Like, like, one of my goals in life, which is a... It's, it's a silly thing, I know. One of my goals in life is to have um, some... Have a modder friend uh, for which the both of us could work on modding in my voice doing all the voice lines for one character <laughs> so I, I would just i would just love the day um uh, i think my, my my first thought of doing that um it, it, does anyone know about the 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 monster high games where it's basically like a bit of a dating simulator uh, a co-op dating simulator with uh, monsters and Features and all that. It allowed you to create mods um, for that game, which allowed you to create interactions um, with a modded character, and you could add in like little audio clips that your character would make noises in regards to whatever mood they are in. I had created one of those characters. I never pushed it forward. Like I never did anything with it. That was the start of that, and then I just started wanting to look at games and go like. Let's see, what characters, what dialogues do they have? And now I'm just 
listening to all this and I'm just thinking like how funny would it be if I just took Mass Effect stripped all of the lines from Shepard out of it and just start doing lines like hello I'm Commander Shepard this is my favorite story in the center there what's it to you Anything for a fan. Anything for a fan. Here. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. <laughs> Thanks again. I'm a space racist. In space. That that's 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 uh that's her, right? Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hi Marlin. Welcome to Morland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be I, uh, can I buy the, uh, no? Hello there. Welcome to Morland's famous shop. I want to get the license. Um, you. Meta job, great. Heck yes. Hi, I would like to open this door. So that's Cora's den. Yeah. We'll go over there. Do 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 do. Hey! Assassino! Whoops. It's overheating! Haha, <laughs> you missed! Hi. Oh. Oh, indeed. I'll just, um... Yeah. Hey, Harkin! Back off, Rex. Fizz told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fizz's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Rex. Out of my way, humans. I have no fool with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Alliance military. <laughs> I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Rex. Biggest mistake of my life. Um, maybe you can help me. I'm a man with a vision. I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian CSEC officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? What secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor. And then he blew it. He screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turian set him up. Uh, that's not why I'm here. Just tell me where Garrus went. <laughs> Garrus was sniffing around this, Dr. Michelle's you know, office. She runs hurry the things up a bit. Oh, I, 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 I'm out of here. There's a certain um, replacement that needs to happen sooner rather than later. I'm sorry, I apparently have the hiccups. I must have been drinking too quickly. Speaking of, everyone, make sure you stay hydrated. I have something to drink near you. And if your glass is empty, fucking kill it. Team Lil Wing. But he's just messing with our heads. We do. He probably was. Still, I'd like to hear what the captain has to say about all this. Ba do do do. Ba do 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 do. Ward's location. Bring me to the med clinic. Save me.
sometime. I'm gonna use the assault the rifle. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Ah! Nice shot. That's almost like a shot Archangel would make. Wait a minute, what? I mean, what? I think we're. I mean, what? Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Oh, it was a big what risk. You, thinking? you could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. He seems so. Oh, he seems so worried. That's why I like you, Garz. Like I said, you can always rub me the bad way. I mean, what? I know those men threatened you, but if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They want Feast? to shut me up, keep me from telling Garz about the Feast. Quarry. We will get feast. What quarian? A few days ago, a quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the shadow broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange mm, for a safe The broker place. of shadows. Where'd she go? Where is she now? I put her in contact with Feast. He's an agent for the shadow broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren, and the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Feast betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. Oh, yeah, yeah. He must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. Uh, evidence? She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. We need to find her first. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Okay. Welcome aboard, Garrus. <laughs> you know, we aren't I don't need much convincing. Fist. Unlike Shadow a certain someone. Named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused I'm gonna have my full party uh, in just a moment. I, 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 I'm sorry, I just I, I, I like those two. Before he leaves. Move out. Garrus. And, um... Well, I only have one option, so, uh... Yeah. Just, uh... Yeah. Simple. Squad! I, Garrus, I'm going to give you all the Turian agents because I don't need you to become an expert in anything else. I'm the sniper, you can be Archangel in a later game. We. Wards, Aura's Den. Oh wait, do I need to go to CSEC first? I need to go to CSEC first and get Rex, don't I? Yep, I do. Look at that boy! Look at that big boy! Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. <laughs> Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. 
I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fit. Hey, you're more than welcome to do it. Coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. It's my squad! Even though I really like Tali and Liara as characters. Um, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly afraid that I might have to swap out Garrus for Liara whenever I get Liara, because he fits the party a little bit better. Chorus then! Do 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 Come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. Save yourselves. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never liked Fist anyway. Yeah, good decision. Bye. Would have been quicker to just kill them. Should have been, but yeah. Ooh. Yoink. Uh, shotgun and ooh, a Reaper two sniper rifle. Eh? <laughs> Rex, my boy, have a high damage shotgun and a high damage sniper of uh, assault rifle and health regen. Hey! Ah! Charging up. Kill them. Don't kill me, I surrender. Smart move. Where's the Corian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait, I don't know where the Corian is, but I know where you can find her. The Corian isn't here, said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. We have to save her. Give me the location, now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The shadow broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs. Hey, he deserved it. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that quarian. Yeah, let's move once I take all the loot. It's just such good loot and all that. Although that, um, where was it? Armor piercing? Bip, bip, bip. Oh no, I already have chemical on that. All right, Rex, you can have it. Actually, no, I should put that on the shot, can I? Uh, have radioactive two. No, not radioactive. Chemical. Anti-personnel rounds, and then we'll put some uh, hand-eyes and on that. 
Isn't there a timer? There is a timer, yes. But I can just take my time. Alright, now we can run. Oh, new people to kill. <laughs> All clear. I keep forgetting to use grenades in this game, I have to admit. Like, you'll probably see me use that grenade there once, and that'll be the end of it. <laughs> you'll never see another grenade during this playthrough. Bring it? Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. See, Tali can use the grenades. He has a lot of health. Just Jeez. set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Uh, yeah. Hey! <laughs> How you doing, Fidostios? I am back! And better than ever. And on a better platform. <laughs> How are you doing, Martin? Loving your voice. How have the both of you been, by the way? I know that we've had some, um, some chatteroo again recently, eh? Twitch is too woke? Exactly! That's why we're here! <laughs> Uh, you kill. Hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Uh, tw I like, uh the the, the, do, you? do you have a do you have a moment, Tim? <laughs> like, the the there are so many things. Um, all I can say is uh, it's just a bad, bad decision when it comes to naming. But as someone with a history of terrible names, uh, yeah, no, actually, that that is pretty, that's pretty up there. Yeah. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. <laughs> then I have a chance to repay. This is coming from the guy that called himself Lol Magnet. We, need to go safe. we could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. Too good to change now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many Hi Who's this? A quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? It's uh Yeah, you can help us. Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss. My name is Tali. Okay, so the surface level like problems you. with Why Twitch. Um, I, I, guess, I guess those are like the biggest issues that most people might know about in regards to Twitch streamers. Um, it all it, it all stems from the monetization in and of itself, because uh, Twitch still takes the. Um, I think, it, yeah, Twitch wants to maintain the 50-50, right? Like 50% 50 of the income that a streamer generates goes to Twitch, whereas the other 50% goes to the streamer. Pretty much every other platform out there has a 70-30 split. 70% 70 for the creator, 30% for the platform. And Twitch has already multiple times said that they are not going to change from the 50-50. So their steadfastness in that already, knowing that it's one of the biggest streaming platforms, is just ridiculous. Uh, that that's that's one of the things. The other things, um, which to coincidentally me and Makey discovered even uh, even um, uh, earlier today, uh, the bitrate change. Um, 
I can stream here at 90 uh, kilobits a second, uh, or at a kilobit, uh, kilobit rate, uh, at a 9,000 kilobit rate, whereas Twitch does not want you to go higher than 6,000. Which already goes to show that the hardware that they're using to maintain the Twitch servers on aren't uh, up to snuff in regards to other t streaming platforms either. Which makes that income gap just even more questionable. Like, if they actually offered a... Um, yeah, if they offered a better service, then it would make sense for the income splits to be, you know, more skewed. But this isn't something that uh, is not the case. Um, then, of course, you've got the terrible, terrible moderation that you've got on um, Twitch, which is combined with its... Um, uh, uh, not indecisiveness. Um, inconsistency that they have shown with their moderation. For example, streamers that have been banned permanently for certain actions get unbanned after seven days um, with favoritism towards streamers that are actually uh, that 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 have a bigger following or that are actually uh, big income sources for Twitch. So there, there is a bit of favoritism in regards to that as well. Um... What are some of the other things? Well, I think just generally, like, the moderation is god-awful on Twitch. Uh, it's much better on um, some of its competitors. Um, and then, of course, you've also got the outside perspectives of how much attention is being given to the streaming platform. Like, if, you, if you're looking at the developments in regards to how the streaming has... Uh, how, how streaming has changed uh, over the years when you compare it from the Twitch streaming to, say, a YouTube platform or a Rumble platform. Uh, no, 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 that's all right. Like, the, 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 these are things I can talk about and they're informative. And if I'm in being informative, those are my favorite moments, actually. I, I like those moments where it's like, ah, oh, cool, I didn't know that. It's it's that, that that slight little bit of teacher bit still in me that just goes like I like teaching things to other people. Um, but yeah, you you've got the other platforms which are so actively trying to build a, a better, not necessarily just economy, but also a better community. Um, a, a better service, better understanding, a, a whole, a whole lot of improvements for uh, the the streamers itself than uh, Twitch, which almost begs the question uh, that has been uh, that's almost reaffirmed for uh, a lot of theorists in regards to Twitch, where it almost comes across as when Amazon picked up uh, Justin TV. Or a Twitch, you know. It almost seems like uh, Amazon did that purely because of the streaming software and the coding that they were using. That they have then immediately adapted into their other projects or could adapt into their other projects. And in regards to that, they've basically put Twitch to the side and they aren't really actively developing it anymore. It's just a, a, a source uh yeah, a, a source that they are just extracting things from rather than actually building up and improving on. Um, and just imagine that, right? Uh, but that 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 is in combination with the. Uh, I I forgot the biggest factor that a lot of streamers have stopped moving, uh, have uh, are leaving Twitch, and. It's one of my prominent reasons as to why I left Twitch, which I, again, I don't, I don't understand why it took me so long to remember this. It's the ever increasing amount of ads uh, that Twitch is trying to push. And it's like not even ads that you can skip or anything. They, they are like full on push ads uh, to the point where a lot of streamers have uh, pre-roll ads, which means that when you open up a Twitch stream, It'll first play the ads before you get to see the stream. 
And when you've got a platform such as Twitch, which already has a considerable lack of discoverability for new streamers and everything, yeah, just imagine being a viewer trying to look for new streamers, but each time that you open up someone else's stream, you're immediately faced with about three minutes of ads before you can even get your first impressions of the streamers. Like, that's immediately going to push you off. Uh, but yeah, that, that combined with their um, almost predatory uh, system of requiring a certain amount of ads per minute or per hour... Uh, which they added in the incentives. Uh, so for bigger streamers, for example, based on the viewer base, certain people would be getting a certain uh, source of income for the amount of ads that they rolled during their streams. Yeah, but th th not even uh, when you're subbed, like even people that are subbed still have those issues uh, where they still get the ads even though they are subbed. So, it's still a faulty system. But it 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 crushes. Um, it 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 offers nothing for discoverability for new streamers, and that's not healthy for a streaming platform that just ha keeps on having like a rotation of streamers leaving, basically stopping to stream, and new streamers coming in. The new streamers they get nothing. It's, it's almost like they're only feeding their top, um, yeah, they're basically feeding their top streamers. Like the ones that are already doing well on their platform, the ones that have been doing well on that platform, the ones that they have become acquainted with, those are the streamers that are doing just fine on Twitch. Everyone else, they are royally getting shafted. And that's why it's so nice to have the other platforms that you have upcoming now. Uh, like, I, I, I haven't done enough research into Rumble or Kick, for example, but the benefits that you have here with YouTube streaming is uh, it's already a platform that is known for having content on it that has already been aired. And it's the same with these streams. People that have streamed on YouTube, their streams can just immediately be re-uploaded onto YouTube and thus have like a, a passive growing system to it. You don't have to be streaming in order to um, get new followers or get new subscribers. You just have the content up there and then somewhere along the line an algorithm will pick it up or someone is searching specifically for something and find your content and then they start following you through that. So the benefits of just having a, a video on demand service as well as the streaming service is a really nice system that of course YouTube is known for and that it is actively developing. That's why I stepped over to YouTube. It's because I can combine the two so much easier here than if I were to just tie myself to a purely streaming platform. There you go. Tangent over. Time for drinks. <laughs> Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for yep. one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the guests oh, had their memory Thank you so much. Some kind I'm of sorry for the stretching. It's because my body is actively realizing it's getting closer and closer to midnight, and then it just goes like sleep mode. <laughs> what did you find out? But, uh. Yeah, I mean, I'm just happy that YouTube just decided to actually catch up on the streaming and, uh. Well, everything for this stream went well. Like the setup, the the, the getting, um, the 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 getting the stream to start up and everything. Like it was a very easy progress. I might indeed have the benefit because I've already streamed before, but it still is nice to see that it isn't a complicated progress. 
when do you become a partner with YouTube? Um, I don't know about when you actually become a partner on YouTube. I don't think the moment that you're capable of monetizing your content that you are already a partner. Um, I think you're just an affiliate by that point. Uh, yeah, I just think you're a content creator at that point. Now, of course, uh, that's that's the little bit of the downside, but I, I get why it's there. Um, let's look it up together, eh? YouTube, you're gonna like this, right? Uh, when does YouTube allow monetization? Right? So, you need at minimum a thousand subscribers to your channel and 4,000 watch hours over the past 12 months. Uh, I do think that there is a culmination in regards to having a certain amount of uh, views on your shorts as well. Um, so yeah, in my case, I'm still a, a, a ways off, right? But that's just it. Like, I need to find... Um, I need to find a golden nugget. I need to find the one thing I can do that will apparently scratch some kind of itch, like it launch some kind of niche, and that will spread forth. You know? <laughs> so, one of the things that um, I've noticed lately, because uh, I, I, I've seen multiple of these niches happen, you know? Like, I've seen channels that normally just did some content, and then they happen to find that one thing that make them grow exponentially. Um, one of those recent things that I saw was during the whole, um, like, a voice uh, recorder AI thing, where you were capable of doing the 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 the, the videos that I watched, for example, were the ones of the U.S. presidents, right? You got your 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 Donald Trump, your Biden, and your Obama voices playing games together. I've seen multiple channels that were just doing normal content that wasn't getting uh, as many viewers, and then you just see the uh, the presidents play the yeah the president gamers. And those are like thousands upon hundreds of thousands of views. And then they just every now and then just sprinkle in one of their normal content and it's just a few hundred. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's just like you, you, you gotta find those niches. So I, I'm I'm kinda hoping through experimentations of different sets of content, um I'm capable of you know, getting those few things that are going to get pulled into the algorithm. Fortunately for me, um, I watch a lot of content creators as well. I am a little bit content brain, uh, brained. My only problem is, is that I don't act on it. That is my problem. And indeed, things like shorts, I unfortunately have that bit of like an aversion of like, oh, I don't want to do it. Like it's the same with uh, TikTok. I don't want to do it because it just fosters, um, it's it fosters a culture and society that gets used to such short moments to grab your attention and then just immediately let it go after a short thing. And that, and, that, and that's why I don't want to do shorts. It's 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 indeed just that. Um, the research is in regards to people that have used uh, services like TikTok and how their attention span has just rapidly decreased from uh, using those platforms, predominantly using those platforms. I, I don't want to partake in that. I'm, I'm, uh, it's, it's not a holier than thou mentality. It's, it's just pure, um, yeah, pure personal values. I, I don't want to partake in that. I feel dirty doing that. I, I wouldn't be proud of what I'd be doing. And, th and that's the one thing I want to maintain in everything that I create. I want to feel proud about what I have done, about what I have created. So, who knows what I'll be capable of doing 
what what I will do that is going to give me that burst. It'll happen suddenly. I'm not expecting anything. And it's because of that that I know that it's going to be that sudden thing that I just... I don't care. <laughs> so yeah. Even for, for, for now though, when it comes to the super chats and when it comes to the donations and everything... I've got my Streamlabs donation link down in the description. I've got a Patreon page if you want to, uh, like, pledge to me monthly if you'd like that a bit more. Uh, which does include content that would otherwise be unavailable for everyone. Like, that, all of that you can find down in the description. Every little bit helps. Everything is support um, in, in any way whatsoever. Like just showing up to my streams, just being here is support in itself. I do not take anything for granted. Like, I, I, I have worked for things, and you all want to work towards something as well. And so when you show those bits of support in any way that you do, be it a view, be it a Patreon, be it a donation, be it just... A DM in my Discord going like, hey man, thank you so much for doing the things that you've done, or thank you so much for that thing that you said. It's been lingering with me, thank you so much. Like, y you don't know how much, like, even the tiniest compliment can make an entire day make me go, oh, that was such a nice, uh, I'm, I'm happy that they said that to me. I... It's not like I don't get to hear those things, okay? It's just that I don't, again, I don't take those things for granted. Like, I'm, I'm just happy uh, being the person that I am and being that just being myself. Um, apparently people appreciate. <laughs> and, and then I just can't help but go into that loop of thinking like, wow, what a society do we live in where just being yourself is looked at like a nice thing. <laughs> I think with, um, I think the best example was with something that I had with Makey, uh, recently was, uh, we've been playing Warframe quite a lot and it's got like this open marketplace where you could sell things, uh, to other people for the in-game currency. And there was this one guy uh, who I had something that he was willing to buy from me, uh, but I was in the middle of a very long main mission, so I just sent him a message going like, yeah, uh, unfortunately I'm in the middle of this mission, uh, so it might take me a couple of hours, but after that, like, I'd be more than happy to give you that thing. And so during the entirety while I was doing that main mission, he was just checking in with me going like, hey, uh, how, how, how's it coming along? <laughs> Like, I just, and I just get, shoot a couple short messages back going like, yeah, I think I'm getting close to the end. Yeah, I'm in the final battle right now. And then when that mission was finally done and we got to meet up to where I could finally give him that item that he wanted to buy from me, he basically um, uh, did like a, uh, he, he basically added another half onto the price for the item. Just because I was nice. And then I just went like, wow. I was just all that time being myself. And he just decides to go, that was nice. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. It's it's just the little things in life. You gotta, you gotta, you know... I think, um, as the, the, the recent Puss in Boots film said it uh, pretty well, and I know it's it's a saying that's really old, but sometimes you got to stop and smell the roses. Sometimes you do just have to stop and take in everything that's good around you. Everything, like the, the, the very nice person, the very nice people that you have in your life. Um... The, the connections that you have, uh, the, the support that you could reach out to if you need it. 
uh, the, the, the wonderful music that people have created that can just get you in such a mood that just lifts you through some very hard times. Um, the really nice drawings that can inspire you to actions, to your own creativity. Like the, the, it's just nice, you know? I'll 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 say it again, uh, and and I do. I'm not sure that a lot of people realize this. The average perspective on life, the average way that things work, is good, and most people that will try to have conversations with you, most people that walk past you, on average, are so much better than you might think. Just because not everyone's out in life trying to be a dick. It's unfortunately something that on the internet is propagated so hard just because you got so many content creators that through being a dick, they have fostered a following. It... I don't... I don't understand it sometimes. But that's why I can find solace in the things that I do understand. And the things that I do understand are the things that I know are good. Like my cat. Like my Luna. That's just sleeping on my bed. All nice and peacefully. Knowing that tomorrow when I wake up I'm going to feed her. Knowing that when I get out of this chair she's going to get her midnight snack. She knows what she wants in life. She enjoys those things in life. And she just can't wait to have those nice things again. There you go. <laughs> We've got him. Won't get out of this one. We got him on another tangent. Two tangents during the same scene. Wow. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Uh, Reapers sound familiar. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. 50,000 years ago? The Reapers ago? to total mm. extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. I'll talk about Mulan some other day. I like to, um... I like to keep the good mood going. <laughs> The vision on Eden Prime. I don't want to go gray. I, I don't want to grow gray hairs. Uh, gray I hair. Wow. I don't want to grow leaders. gray hairs at this That's moment right now. As gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life, and they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. You know, I'd love to just do a movie podcast. Like just talk about movies for hours on end. But uh, I, 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 I don't, I'm not gonna do it, purely because there is already con there are already content creators that do it, and that's it. Like I have just found my group uh, that have been capable of, um, yeah, just that 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 are that have the same opinions of me in a lot of things. <laughs> I know some of the people that have been talking recently to me know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about a crew called Every Frame a Pause, or the short version EFAP. Uh, yeah, these these lads will talk hours on end for uh, about anything that uh, is currently uh, mainstream in regards to a mainstream film or a mainstream game. So I think the last game they really. Uh, broadly talked about was the uh, new God of War game, God of War Ragnarok. Uh, have they talked about a game since? Not sure. But then also next to that they talk about all the mainstream films, so I think recently they tackled uh, videos uh, other people that were critiquing um, the 
um, the Mario film, for example. Um, alongside other things. But yeah, I, I, I watched those people for hours on end as well. With, once again, they very much have the same opinions as me. And because of that, it's always nice to hear that little bit of validation, you know? The validation that I'm not the only person that thinks about certain things that certain way. That's that's why we look at certain content creators and get so attached to them. It's because we see a bit of ourselves in them. But yeah, I, I guess if I were to do podcasts uh, in regards to all of that, I already know that the level won't be anywhere near theirs. But it'll have me vibes. And I guess for some people that might already be enough. <laughs> Another day. Should I just should I just start making a conversation list of just like, alright, I could start making tangents about Mulan twenty twenty, parasocial relationships. What else can we add on to that list? Um uh, EA The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. Yeah. You know what I can do. I think... Let me come with you. And, and this, is, this is genuine, once again. When it comes to what you might experience with me, if you think that I'd be doing parasocial relationships, uh, it would definitely be one-sided if there is a parasocial relationship between me or someone else. Because I'll let them know that there is no relationship between them and me if it isn't friendly. <laughs> I'll take all the help I can get. Right, like ev everyone, everyone that I have a relationship with know that it's an actual friendly relationship. As in, if you, if I were to see them in person, it would be just about as it would be with a friend and a friend. I, I do not do parasocial relationships. I, I, don't, I don't, I don't want to feel like anyone would be. I don't, I don't want to feel like I'm mooching off of other people's attention. Like, if someone misses out on something that I've said, or um, they don't agree with me, or something along those lines, that's all in their right. Like, that's fair to them. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Needs to be seen <laughs> too far away for me to test that. Well, if it helps, I think um, I could maybe start making a list of people that have seen, that have met me in person. And then you can ask them, is he truly like he is on the internet? <laughs> I'm sorry. I just I just find that concept really funny for people to just start talking about, oh yeah, that proud. I'm sure he's a lot different than he is on the internet. <laughs> uh, look, if if anything, maybe the energy is a bit lower. In, in person than it is on the internet but that might just be because I, I the, the comfort zone you know I'm here in my bedroom I, I don't have to worry about anyone walking in I don't I can just leave a conversation if I don't want to leave if I don't want to have the conversation like it's just I'm 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 me whenever I'm whenever I'm talking <laughs> And I'll I'll be honest when I am not in the mood for something like that that as well. I know when I've hit a limit in something. I'll I'll have to you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna tattoo messy messy humanity on on my back. That's what I'm. This messy humanity, and it'll be like a small picture of me. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, I think for today, before I'm going to have another three to four tangents, um, I think that will be it for uh, this stream. 
I'll keep everyone again in touch. Like all of you have access to my Discord, as far as I know. I think everyone that's been in chat is in my Discord. So uh, once again, like it, just keep your eye on that, and I'll let you know when the next stream is going to be. Um, can I already confidently say that I can do one next week on Friday? Um, I think I can. Yeah. So I, I, th yeah. For now, let's already go ahead and say it. Next week, Friday, same time as this stream, we'll have the second. Uh, we'll 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 have our second uh, YouTube stream. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Again, same location. I don't think the same link will work. But um, yeah, you'll you'll see the tweets. You'll see the Discord messages. You'll see. Uh, well, I mean, if you do it like Ash, you also have the notifications on all of my YouTube videos turned on. You'll you'll just be peppered with messages going, "He's live again." So uh, yeah, I hope you all have some good rest for this weekend as well. Thank you so much for wishing me good rest. I'm sure that won't be an issue at all. I've 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 exhausted energy during the stream, which means that I'll be sleeping like a baby in about an hour or so. But yeah, uh, I hope you all have a good weekend. Uh, have a good remainder of your afternoon or evening if you uh, if you still have that time of day left. Uh, sleep well for anyone else that's in the same time zone as me and that's about to go to sleep. Um, and yeah, I see you all next week on Friday, same time as now. We'll be doing Mass Effect again, so not much has changed. I'll just be me be me. So... Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all soon. Hey, Phenosius, how are you doing? Welcome to this lovely Saturday evening. Ow! Ah! Ah! Why is that creature sitting there? I 